let's transform a bedroom in under three days for under a hundred dollars It's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. It's spring break here, so all of my kids are at home. One thing that I wanted to do was give my youngest daughter, she's seven years old, her bedroom a refresh. Last time we did her room, she was three years old. So obviously from three to seven, her likes and dislikes have changed a lot. So using mostly what we already have on hand, I wanted to redecorate her bedroom. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Colleen from Lemon Thistle. She's also gonna be doing a room makeover with things she has on hand. We both gave ourselves a max budget of $100 Canadian and we're both doing kids rooms. So after you watched my room makeover, make sure to go over to her channel and check out her video. I will leave it somewhere up here and down in that description box below. Let's get started. Here is what we are starting with. This is my daughter's bedroom. Obviously it is in dire need of some purging organization and it definitely needs some kind of color in here. I painted this whole thing white when she was three years old because we had so many different rainbow accents and things. And now that she's a little bit older, she really has grown to love pink. So she really wanted to have some pink in this room. Also, she had this little corner called her cozy corner where she had all her stuffed animals inside, but it seemed a little redundant because she has this bunk bed in here and she was using the bottom bunk as kind of her little reading nook. So I want to completely remove this cozy corner. I'm moving all of the furniture into the center of the room and giving everything a really good clean. So that's the first thing that you can do if you want to give your room a budget-friendly refresh is go through and clean and organize everything. Even a really good cleaning and organizing is going to make your room look completely different. Now I'm taking off these really old blackout blinds in here and I want to purchase some new curtains. I think that's going to be one way to use my $100 budget. That's going to make a huge difference for this space. I don't know if this is cheating, but I found this gift certificate from one of my friends. So I'm gonna use that towards these curtains and then they're only gonna cost me $16. Woohoo. I also decided to go ahead and order this light fixture. It was actually $67 when I got it. So this still keeps me under my $100 budget by purchasing the curtains with my gift card and this light fixture. I think light fixtures can make a huge difference in the look and feel of a room. I'm also continuing to clean this room by cleaning off all of the baseboards. The walls were also so dirty too, so I'm cleaning those as well. I had a bunch of pieces of MDF trim from a project a couple years ago, so I thought it'd be neat to add sort of a chair rail to this room. This was free for me because I had this on hand, but MDF trim usually isn't that expensive if you want to add this to your room as well. I'm measuring where I want it to go and cutting it with a miter saw. I chose to line up the bottom of my trim 36 inches from the bottom of the floor, and I'm using my finishing nailer to nail it into the wall. I love trim details like this. I've done board and batten trim in the rest of my home. Here I wanted to keep it nice and simple, so I'm just adding this one chair rail, but you could add vertical pieces of trim as well to give it a little bit of an extra touch. When you have two long pieces of trim and you want to join them together, you can cut each piece at a 45 degree angle and when you put them together it's going to give you a nicer seam. Now I'm taping off anywhere my trim meets the wall with some painter's tape.
I'm also going ahead and putting some wood filler in the seam and sanding it off to give it a really nice finished look. Now I had this idea, I only have one gallon of this paint color. It's a beautiful peachy pink by Bear called Seaside Villa. What I wanna do is I wanna try something that I've wanted to try for some time and it's the reverse trim trend. So rather than having my trim in this room white and the walls a color, I wanted to try putting the color on the trim and all of the doors and leaving the rest of the walls white. The walls in here are Simply White by Benjamin Moore, which is a color that I love, and I do love it for Little Bee's room because it keeps it nice and light and bright, but since she loves pink and I already had this gallon of paint on hand, I wanted to add the pink detail to all of the trim, the bottom part of the wall, and the doors in here. I think this is a great way to use a little bit less paint. And it's also something that I don't see a lot of. This is gonna give my daughter the pink that she wants, but I'm not having to paint the entire room again. I'm using a little angled detail brush for all of the edges of everything, and then I'm using a foam roller to do the rest of the doors and a regular roller to do the bottom of the walls. I like to remove the painter's tape when my paint is still wet to give that nice, crisp, clean line. I'm also adding some caulking to the seams to make everything look nice and seamless. This is my last bit of paint and this trim definitely needs one more coat of paint. You can see by the window here where I brush, you can see it definitely needs another coat. It did a pretty good job covering, but I gotta try to make this last for this whole room. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna be close. I was so excited that I was able to do two full coats of this pink paint on all of the trim, the bottom of the wall, and all of the doors, and I still had some left over. It was what I thought was the perfect way to use this gallon of paint and make it have the most impact in this room. Now I'm moving all of the furniture back to where I want it. I decided to flip the bunk bed around this way to give little B a little bit more space in this room. She loves to do gymnastics and dance, so this gives her a little bit more floor space. I'm also putting back all of the outlet covers back on the walls. Now since I have some leftover paint, I'm going to paint a few more things to match her room. This old mirror, I think we got it from Walmart several years ago. I'm taking the same latex paint and painting the frame of this. This I found from Value Village for $2. It is a spoon rack. You might remember my spoon rack jewelry holder I did a couple years ago. I'm gonna do the same thing for my daughter. I'm painting this in that same color, Seaside Villa, and I did about three coats for each of these pieces. I also got this spice rack from Ikea, painting it in the pink color as well. And this is gonna act as a book holder for over Little Bee's bunk bed. I got the curtains in here from Amazon. They have a really pretty pom-pom trim. They're velvet and they're not blackout blinds, but they're room darkening. They're gonna make this space dark enough for Little Bee to sleep. I love how they make this room look taller and they look great on the windows. Okay, Sean's the pro here, so he's gonna walk us through how to switch out a light fixture, which I think makes a huge difference for any room makeover. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, definitely. First step is to make sure the light is off. Oh, there's dead flies, that's gross. So there's usually just two screws, and it would 
this pop off. You don't have to remove the screws completely. Okay, so you'll always have a hot, which is your black. That's where your power comes in. A white is your neutral. That's where your power goes back out. And then a ground is usually always tied to the box into the fixture. So those three can come off. Well now this is, these are the wires that we have to string up through the chain. It goes up through this hole. Strip about half an inch of insulation off the end of them. So I usually give it a little twist to get them together. And we need our marettes. Put both wires under the marette and twist it clockwise. So you can tuck those up and inside there. Mm -hmm. This one here is your ground. So that one's going to go around the ground screw. Which is the blue, green one on the bracket. And then I just put this to the ground wire as well, just as a safety. Get all up in there. This adjusts. And then it's all plastic and crystals from there. Awesome. Thanks, hon. Yes. <laughs>just this rug last year when I was updating our camper and then my oldest daughter took it and decided she didn't love it so I thought I would move it in here to little B's bedroom because she loves this this is a rifle paper co rug that I purchased on sale and I think it looks really cute in this space with all the blush pink the green and the gold colors this basket in my stash and it matches the whole room a lot more even though these are pink they're a little bit too bubblegum pink for this peachy pink room so little b and i are going to go through everything we're going to decide what to keep of her toys what to donate and um we're going to do that together we usually go through everything what about every six months or so yeah. to donate and keep everything and organize it properly squishy mm -hmm. What, donate? Yeah. What about your sleeping masks? Mm, no, I don't really need them. I think I could fall asleep. Okay. We're also going through this vintage vanity that my mom gave my daughter a few years ago. She's given one to all my daughters and painted them, and it's such a precious gift. All my kids have a special treasure box, so we put all of the really special memories like artwork and special school things in the box. These are all ones you want to keep, right? Um, special things I'll you want just, to keep? I'll just see. Oh, I'm, I'm going through them. it felt so good to be able to go through every single one of my daughter's toys, all of her treasures, and all of her craft supplies, and just make sure that we're donating things that we don't use and organizing things that we want to keep. Now I'm hanging the mirror up on this side of the room. My husband made this really cool LED backlit feature for all of my girls as well. He loves doing that kind of stuff. And I'm hanging up this DIY necklace holder that we made from the thrift store spoon rack. I had these floral decals from last year, again from another project. You might remember I used them in my camper as well. We did them in the girls' bunk room. So now they're making a reappearance here in Little B's bedroom. I had three flowers left and some leaves, so I thought these were the perfect accent for over her bed. They match the blush pink theme in here and they look so pretty. 
Now I'm taking some leftover paint and I'm just touching up the top of this vanity that my mom gave little B. It actually, interestingly, is almost exactly the same blush pink color that she originally painted the vanity. I also had this handmade duvet cover that I made for my older daughter a few years ago and I thought this would look great on the top of Little B's bunk. For the bottom bunk, I'm just adding a whole bunch of pillows I had on hand and some of my daughter's stuffed animals to make a really cozy reading nook for her. I know it's not always going to stay like this, but a mom can dream, right? <laughs> I love how it looks all styled up. So here is how my daughter's bedroom looked like before, and here's how it looks now. I love that we were able to give her bedroom a complete refresh for under $100 using mostly supplies and decor items that I had on hand. It just reminds me that you don't have to spend tons of money to make your room look beautiful and tidy doing a really good clean, a good organize using paint you have on hand, and moving around your decor and furniture is going to make a huge difference in how your room looks and feels. Little B is so happy with her new room. She loves the addition of all the pink and she's able to find all of her toys, books, and craft supplies easily and cuddle up with a book in this little nook at the bottom of her bed. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this transformation. My daughter was really happy to have all of this pink in this bedroom and she really loves the update. Let me know what you think down in those comments below. I'd love to hear what your favorite part is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. Don't forget to check out Colleen's room makeover video. Again, I will leave that down in that description box below and I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will love and watch next right up here.